OnePlus 3T, the current flagship killer from OnePlus which was released back in November 2016 and is still it's the beast in budget. Since OnePlus 3D was released, the speculation has in store for the next flagship killer which is now officially confirmed that it will be called OnePlus 5. So let's have a look over top 5 things that is almost confirmed for OnePlus 5. Excited? So let's get started. Now almost everyone knows that the next flagship killer from OnePlus will be called OnePlus 5 and they are skipping the number 4 just due to some Chinese superstition of tetraphobia. So we are also skipping the story behind this and let's talk about the specifications. If we recall the specifications of previous OnePlus flagship devices, the OnePlus One used the Snapdragon 801 chip with 3 gigs of RAM and it has the same configuration like other top flagship devices of 2014. Similarly, OnePlus 2 was packed with a Snapdragon 810 chip and 4 gigs of RAM. The same trend was followed by OnePlus 3 and 3T Duo, which also uses the flagship SoC Snapdragon 820 and 821 respectively with 6 gigs of RAM in 2016. Now in 2017, it's pretty obvious that OnePlus will surely use the latest chip that is the Snapdragon 835. Along with that, it is also sure that it will come with minimum 6 gigs of RAM, which I think is more than enough and the configuration is also confirmed by Onto2 benchmark. But some sources are also claiming that it will have a whopping 8 gigs of RAM for higher end model, which I think is a welcome addition. So the final configuration of OnePlus 5 will have Snapdragon 835 with 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of onboard storage for the base model. And maybe they will have a higher end variant with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of onboard storage. Now let's talk about the design. The OnePlus 3D was featuring a solid unimetal frame and a sturdy chassis which doesn't stand out from the crowd too much. In the last couple of days, some live images of OnePlus 5 has been leaked and it seems like OnePlus is going to stick with the same design language as OnePlus 3T. The live images also shows that the device will have a dual lens setup which is trending nowadays. Recently, it is also confirmed that OnePlus is partnership with DxOMark to enhance the photography experience of the next flagship device. DxO is perhaps most well known for creating defining photography benchmark and it is a very good thing that they are working with OnePlus to make the photography experience even better. On May 22nd, OnePlus founder has also confirmed that OnePlus 5 will come with a front fingerprint sensor. The CEO made the confirmation while responding to a fan's comment on Weibo. Now after looking over all the facts and confirmations, I think it's good to say that these leaked images could be a prototype of OnePlus 5 and the final product will not be too different. Now let's talk about the display. The OnePlus 3 and 3T both features a 5.5 inch display sporting a full HD resolution. These two models have Optic AMOLED display which is one of the best 1080p display in the market right now. And if you are not a geek, then I'm sure you will not be able to differentiate between 2K and this full HD display. In 2017, almost all the flagship smartphones that has launched till date is featuring a 2K display like LG G6, Samsung Galaxy S8 and HTC U11. So despite the OnePlus 3T delivering a fabulous display, this is the area where OnePlus devices loses marks in terms of number. A leaked onto to benchmark does suggest that the OnePlus 5 will have a 1920 by 1080 resolution display but let the fingers crossed. Talking about the software, the OnePlus 5 will most likely launch on Oxygen OS which will be based on Android Nougat. And some of you may know that the next version of Android which is code named as Android O is on its way. But the final build of Android O will release in third quarter of 2017 so it's not good to expect it right now. What features will come with that have yet to be seen but we would expect a similar experience to what is already offered to OnePlus 3T users such as the shelf, dark and light theme and enhanced dose mode. And if you are a beta tester then you may know that OnePlus is testing some new features on OnePlus 3 and 3T which includes redesigned UI, new launcher, secure box, gaming mode, quick pay, notification denoising and many more. If you want to know more about these features, then I had made a separate video on that and I will leave a link for that in the description box. At the end, let's talk about the pricing. OnePlus has always offered budget-friendly smartphones without compromising on hardware and quality. But if you are a long-term OnePlus user like me, then you surely have noticed that the prices have slowly been rising over the years. Like if you recall correctly, the OnePlus One was sold at $299 US dollars, its successor OnePlus Two retailed for $329 US dollars, 
then the OnePlus 3 was available for 399 US dollars and now the current flagship the 3T is the most expensive OnePlus device to date with a starting price of 439 US dollars. So after looking over these price jumps over the years, it is quite easy to assume that the OnePlus 5 will be released at a price tag below 500 US dollar which I think will be a great deal and a perfect bang for your buck. So guys these were the top 5 things that is almost confirmed for the next flagship killer OnePlus 5. Let me know your thoughts regarding OnePlus 5 in the comment section. And if you like this video then do subscribe to my channel for more future videos like this. So this is Samir signing off and I will see you guys in my next one.